Hi, welcome to Go For Life, an exercise campaign from the National Institute on Aging at NIH. My name is Sandy McGrath. I'm a personal trainer and fitness instructor. We're going to do a sample workout, so you'll be able to watch me and follow along with Mitter, Irene, Grizel, and Jerry. For equipment, you'll need a sturdy chair with arms, two equally weighted objects, like dumbbells, soup cans, or water bottles, two tennis balls, and a towel. I'll be teaching at a more challenging level with Irene and Mitter, while Grizel and Jerry will do modified versions of the same exercises. Always listen to your body. We're gonna start with our warm up. Every time you exercise, you should always warm up before you start doing strength exercises. How's everybody feeling? Great. Great. You guys ready to go? Yes. Yep. Let's start with our warm up. Here we go. So we're gonna start with a march. And so what we're doing is we're warming up the muscles and getting the blood flowing, raising the heart rate just a little bit. So you wanna start out slow, and then you can just pick it up as you want to. So we're gonna march for four, three, two more, and get ready. We're gonna take it right to a step touch right now. Here we go, step touch. Now when you're doing your warm up, if you don't do it exactly like I do, that's okay because all we're doing is warming up those muscles. So you wanna have good posture, abs in, shoulders back, and head up. We're gonna do four more, guys. And three. Last two. We're gonna take it back to a march. So march it right here. March it out. And we're going to do four, three, two. Hold it right there, feet are steady. Your feet should be shoulder distance apart. Take the arms up, loosening up the shoulders now. So take it up and down. Take it up and down. Can you guys feel the everything starting to loosen up a little yeah. bit? Yes. Here we go. Let's do five more. And four. Last three. Two more. And one. Now what I want you to do is I want you to reach back. Make sure your chair is behind you and you're gonna have a seat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up the quads now. So you're gonna have your arms out and just stand it up and take it down. And stand it up and take it down. Stand it up. How are you guys doing back there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now you should feel your legs starting to warm up. And let's just do four more. What you do in your warm up, a lot of times you'll do exercises, or your warm up will resemble the exercises that you're gonna do later. So you're warming up those muscles. Here we go, this is the last one. Take it down, keep that seated position. Take your hands, put it right on the sides of the chairs. Take your legs out, they should be shoulder width apart. So go ahead, Grizel, take the feet just a little bit wider. A little bit wider, there you go. Now we're gonna point the toes. This is warming up your calves and your ankles. So stretch and flex, stretch and flex, stretch and flex. Let's do three more. And two, and last one. You can feel your calf, you know. Yeah, good job, that's great. Now, does everybody feel pretty warm? Okay, now if you need a little bit more time to warm up, you can always take a couple extra minutes. But we're gonna go ahead and start our strength and balance exercises. The first thing we're gonna do is arm curls, and we're gonna do 10 of them. Grizel and Jerry are gonna be our modifiers, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna stay in a seated position. The rest of you, we're gonna grab our weights, and we're gonna turn around. Now you want your feet to be shoulder distance apart. Pull those are your feet to be shoulder distance apart, pull your shoulders back, abs in, head is up. Elbows should be tight to the side and take it up for an arm curl. We're gonna do 10 of these. Here we go, and two, three. Now, if you feel it getting a little bit hard, you wanna be sure that you continue to breathe and you wanna breathe on the upward movement, the exertion. We've got Two more. How are you guys doing? Good. Right. Your form good. looks good. Now, if you ever want to practice, and that's good. Now, shake out those shoulders just for a second. 
The next exercise is the overhead arm raise. You want to have your arms, let me just check everybody out. You want to have your arms in 90 degree angles or a goal post position. So take it up. And you can use different things when you're doing this. You can use, you know, soup cans, water bottles. I'm using dumbbells. Here we go. We've got four more to go. And three. And if you ever get tired, you can always stop. And one more. Here we go. Take it up. Take it down. Once again, relax those shoulders. The next thing we're going to do is chair dips. Take it down. Put the weights down. And we're going to have a seat in a chair. Now, you want to have your hands on either um, arm of the chair. And what you're going to do is you're going to lift yourself up. Now this is a difficult exercise. So if, even if you just lift just ever so slightly, it's a good thing. So we're gonna do 10 of these and take it up. So we're working the backs of the arms or the triceps. Okay, I know you guys can feel these. Now you wanna make sure that the chair that you're using is not too wide. You wanna make sure that it's about shoulder width. So that way you're not gonna put any stress on your shoulders or your elbows. We've got two more of these. And last one. Perfect. Okay, the next exercise is the chair stand. Now we did this in the warm up, but we're gonna modify it just ever so slightly. So what I want you to do is cross your arms. You guys good? Okay, lean it back. Take it up, arms are out. Stand it up. So once again, when you lean back, we're adding a little bit of ab work. So draw those abs in tight. And then when you're standing, you're working those legs. Cross, lean back. Now, breathe out on the exertion, so that would be when you do it. Breathe in now. So cross the arms, lean back, and forward. Take it up. Now, if you have any problems with your knees, you know, this is something that you might want to modify. So, you know, listen to your body. This is your workout and you want to make it so that you can do it comfortably and safely. So take it down. How are you guys doing back there? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, we've got three more. Now you guys are breathing, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now remember, the exertion is the standing up part. We've got one more after this one. Is everybody good? Last one. And take it down. Okay. Now, we're gonna move right into lower body. This was working the quads, but we're gonna work um, the lower body now. So we're gonna do side leg raises. And we're gonna do 10 side leg raises. Draw the abs in tight, stand behind your chair. Now, be sure at home to hold onto the chair until you feel very comfortable. So you're gonna get that good posture position. Abs in, shoulders back, head up, and take the leg out to the side. Now you wanna make sure that you keep your legs straight and the foot flexed. That way you're gonna get the most out of the exercise. Take it out to the side. We're working the hips or the abductors. We've got three more. Last two, and just one more. Now, shake it out or do little steps and we're gonna move right over to the other side. Here we go, left side, take it out. Remember, straight leg and good posture. Now, if you get tired, you can always push that pause button and come right back to us. If you need to get a drink of water, do it whenever you need to. We've got just two more. And one more, perfect. Once again, little steps, shake out those hips, Next exercise, back leg raise. So are we ready? Yeah, okay. ready. Abs in, take that leg back. Once again, leg should be straight, good posture, foot is flexed. Good posture, foot is flexed. Here we're working the hamstrings or the back of the leg and the glutes. Here we go. We've got three more. And two. And one. Here we go, shake it out. We've got the other side now. Here we go, take it back. You Two. can feel the pressure on thighs here. Okay, now, 
Mitter, what I'd like you to do, you're starting to lean forward just a little bit like this. So keep that posture good. We've got four more. Perfect. Now, posture is so important. And just one more. Okay, shake it down. Let's go ahead. Good? Okay, now, last exercise. Grip. Grab the tennis balls once again. Now this time I want everybody to think about your posture. Just because you're seated doesn't mean you should be like this, okay? Pull those shoulders back, sit up straight, and draw those abs in tight. I always ask my clients, when are you supposed to hold your abs in? And they scratch their head and they're thinking. Now we're gonna do 10 reps, three to five seconds. And then after they think about it for a little bit, they go, well, when am I supposed to hold my abs? And I go, all the time. So, when you're walking down the street, keep that posture good. And squeeze. And draw those abs in tight. Keep the shoulders back. Keep your head up. Let's do four. Release. Three. Release. Last two. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hard, hard, hard. Release. One more time. We're going to hold this for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to grab your towel from underneath your chair. Go ahead and stand up. What you're going to do is you're going to take your towel, put it in your right hand. I'd like you to throw it over your right shoulder, grabbing the back, uh, the bottom of the towel with your left hand. And what I'd like you to do is keep the elbow nice and tight to the side of your head and pull down. Now you're gonna hold each stretch 15 to 30 seconds. So that's a good amount of time. Don't cheat on it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's so, so easy, everybody, <laughs> everybody finishes their workouts and then they just walk away. But stretching and flexibility is so, so, so important. So what I'd like you to do, once again, pull down and relax it just one more time. Let's do it one more time. Now this time we're gonna hold it for that 15 seconds. So hold, you at home too. Keep the elbows tight to the side of your head. That way you're really stretching out those, the shoulder, the triceps, and let's go ahead and switch sides. Now what I'd like you to do, hold the towel in your left hand, throw it over your left shoulder, grab the towel with your right hand, down low. Okay, you guys got it all? Okay, here we go. Now, elbows close to the side. Once again, holding 15 to 30 seconds. And you can do three to five of these, okay? So we're going to do three. And take it down. Now remember, stretching is to slight tension, no pain. And let's just go ahead and relax it for a second. And then pull it back down. A lot of times with the stretching, each time you do it, you might get a little bit more stretch out of it. Not always, but sometimes. But it's something that you need to work on on a daily basis. Stretching you can do every day. And relax it. And let's do one more time. We're going to hold this one for a long time, okay, guys? And take it down and hold. Once again, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. That allows you to relax your body and allows maybe just a little bit more stretch. Okay, and done. Beautiful. What we're going to do now, take the towels, put them back under your chairs, have a seat. We're going to stretch out the ankles. Now, we did a stretching the ankles in our warm-up, but once again, we've done a lot of exercises between now and then, and what we want to do is we want to stretch those calf muscles and ankles back out. So what we're going to do, is everybody good? Point the toes and hold it, and let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead, point the toes back up toward the ceiling or toward your midsection. And relax the shoulders. Sometimes I find myself tensing up a little bit too. So if you're at home and you feel your shoulders tightening up, go ahead and relax. Give yourself a little bobblehead there and point the toes. And let's point them up to the ceiling. Okay, this time we're gonna hold it for a little bit longer and point and hold it for five, four, three, two, and back up to the ceiling. 
Okay, can you guys feel that working? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Good job, good job. Okay, hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. You guys did a great job. You guys at home, I hope you enjoyed the workout. Thank you so much.